it's only a week until Christmas and I've been busily crocheting lots of Christmas themed things and today I'm going to show you them all. I'll talk a bit about how I made each thing but like my last two videos this isn't going to be a complete tutorial but it might be some inspiration for things you can put together as last minute Christmas gifts if you need any. Anyway let's get into the things. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this cute little Christmas wreath with a big bow on it. Making this was quite the journey. I actually made two of them. We've got one in light green and one in dark green. Not really dark green, it's kind of like an emerald colour. So I was scrolling through my Instagram explore, which is kind of the only way I use Instagram at the moment because my feed is so stuffed up. It doesn't show me anything I haven't seen. I just see stuff I've already seen. Anyway, on my explore page, I saw a wreath that looked a lot like this. And I was like, that is the cutest little Christmas wreath I've ever seen. I have to crochet it. However, it didn't have a pattern. I was like, that doesn't matter. I'm going to figure it out. I am making that wreath. So I was able to find another Christmas wreath. I keep trying to say the word wreath. I just can't say it. Wreath. Wreath. I've said it too many times, now it doesn't even sound like a word. So I saw about those things and I used the pattern to create the wreath part. <laughs> so how you did it basically was, it was in two parts, so you did the front half and the back half, and then you just sewed it together. So you sewed the inner circle together first, then you sewed the outer circle and you kind of stuffed it along as you went. Then I had to add the bow. Now the bow caused me a little pain. I thought, oh it's just like a crochet bow, that'll be easy, I can figure that out. It was not easy, I could not figure it out. I was getting so frustrated that I ended up making another whole wreath because I was like I can't figure out this bow I just need a break from trying to do this bow but then I had to make two bows and I was like stressing out about it but then I went back to the original picture I saw and the person had added a pattern I was like thank goodness and then I just followed their pattern and we ended up with this now my wreaths were a bit smaller than theirs so the bow ends up looking kind of oversized but I think that's really cute and I'm really happy with how they look and I also just added some felt spots completely recreating their design because I just loved it so much and are you proud of me? I even embroidered some smiles on them. I have had so much trouble embroidering smiles and making them look good but I think these ones look cute. Like they're not perfect. I still have a lot of improvements to make but like they look cute rather than terrifying which is how my smiles used to look. So we're making progress which is good. Anyway then after I did these little ones I had to get out my chunky wool and my big crochet hook and I made a big one. How cute is this? I feel like I could hang up my door as like an actual Christmas wreath. I did want it to be bigger. I wanted it to be quite a bit bigger. However, this was all the green chunky wool I had left. I literally had none left and this was as big as I could make it. Otherwise, I would have just kept increasing and increasing until it was bigger than my head. And it is bigger than my head, but you know, it could have gone around my whole head. But alas, we did not have enough chunky wool. Mostly because of this sneaky tree you can see in the background. But we'll get to him later. I still think it turned out really cute. And I could definitely still put it on my door. So that was the Christmas wreaths. I will leave the patterns I used, the multiple patterns I used to make these in the description and all the other patterns for everything will be in the description as well. Okay next. Oh I should have shown these first. The first thing I actually crocheted, first Christmas thing I actually crocheted was some Christmas bees. So I've been crocheting so many bees this year I had to make Christmas versions. First one I did was just green and red. We got Christmas colours with white wings. Then I have white which has red red, green, red and red wings. Then we have kind of the opposite of that that goes green, red, green and green wings. So they're like little opposite friends. And then the final Christmas bee was meant to be a candy cane bee. So it's red and white but I thought I'd be like all creative and cool with the wings and like kind of make them look like peppermints that are red. Do those even exist? I don't know what I was thinking but I thought it would look cool and it didn't look as cool as I thought it would look and I kind of regret doing them like that and I kind of wish they were just white. But overall it's still a cute bee. I mean I feel like when you're crocheting bees you can't really go wrong. So yeah, these are my bees. As you'll notice, they don't have faces. When I made these, because they were the first things I made, I hadn't got my confidence with smiles up. I might actually add some smiles to them now. But then like, I kind of like the looks that not having smiles gives them. Like they're kind of like mysterious bees. Not really, but there's just like a certain element of cuteness that not having a smile has. I think I'll leave them like that. Anyway, the other thing I did make for these bees, where'd they go? I made little mini Christmas hats. I actually just followed the start of the witch hat pattern I used for the witch hat of my bee. What? I don't know what I just said but I made a witch bee back in Halloween times otherwise known as October. I followed that pattern using red and white instead of using black.
black and then I stuck a pom-pom on the top. And honestly, you could just crochet like a lot of mini hats, just stick them on any kind of crocheted animal and there you have it, a Christmas friend. There are only two hats for the four Bs because there's literally no reason, I just only made two. I got distracted with all the other things I was crocheting, kind of forgot about it until just now. And now I feel mean because only half the bees have hats. But maybe half the bees don't want to wear hats and they're happy with that. I don't know. Moving on. The next thing I have to show you is this bell. Now when I was making this bell, I didn't feel good. It felt like it was going terribly, but now it all came together. It's like one of my favorite things I've crocheted for Christmas. So let me tell you about this bell. I was on Instagram once again and I saw just like a standard bell pattern. It didn't have a face. It didn't have a bow, but I was like, I can add a face. Well, I hadn't thought about adding a bow at that time, but I was like, I'll just crochet that and add a face and that will be like a really cute little Christmas decoration. I was really confused when I was crocheting because the first step of crocheting was like you just crocheted like an oval, a 3D oval, a cylinder. <laughs> I don't know why my brain just doesn't remember what words are. So you did like a cylinder and then you added like the bit coming out of the bell. And so when I did it, I was kind of like, this doesn't look like a bell. Then I added the little bell ringer on and I was like, okay, it kind of looks like a bell. You can kind of tell it's a bell. And I added the face and I added the cheeks and I was like, that looks cute. But like, it just feels like there's something missing. Then I was looking at these beautiful creatures and I was like, bam, that's what I need to do. I need to add one of these bows onto this bell and that's going to be adorable. And like, like it is. It just made the whole thing look so much cuter. I'm so happy with how she turned out. I kind of want to make like a whole army of these now. I think she's beautiful. I hope you think she's beautiful too. She's a little bit shy. She, she's a bit nervous. So around Black Friday time, I kept seeing so many cute crochet Christmas patterns on Etsy. Well, I saw them on Instagram, but they were patterns that you could buy on Etsy. And I ended up buying a few. So first pattern I bought was Christmas cupcakes. Now, I've tried to make cupcakes multiple times this year. It has not gone successfully. I fail when it comes to decorating. So I thought, I know, I can just crochet some cupcakes. That way they will look cute. I just had a bit of a panic because I was like, oh my God, where did they go? I lost my crochet cupcakes. I forgot that I put them up here because I thought they'd look cute as Christmas decorations. So how you made these is, so you made like the cupcake wrapper thing then you made the top part and then you sewed them together and then you added on all the little features. So first of all, we have a reindeer. I really love how the pattern had this like little bit going over the cup cake like it's like the icing spilling over the edge I think that's a really nice touch this reindeer has a smile as well my embroidery skills are going great now the nose in the pattern one wasn't red two wasn't a piece of felt so the actual nose was like a brown crocheted nose and I tried to do it that way but it just looked bad and then I tried to do a red crochet no noise noise why can I not say that word I tried to crochet a red nose yeah there we are and it looked bad so then I just stuck a piece of felt on it felt always comes through for me it's always there for me we get a along very well me and felt. Then we have the snowman which I think is also really cute also has like the spilling over ice cream. You just threw your hat away. I crocheted you a hat and you just threw it away. He has a hat which you were meant to sew on probably for that exact reason but I thought it was kind of cute if it could come up and off. Anyway then he has a carrot nose which honestly doesn't really look like a carrot. It was kind of just like a long bit of orange crochet and when you put it on you're like oh yeah that's a snowman with a carrot nose. The final cupcake and my favorite cupcake is this Christmas tree. Now this one was definitely the hardest one to do. This star was quite hard to do but I was really proud of how it turned out. Like I looked at the pattern and I was like I can't do that. What are you talking about? And then I did it. In the original pattern it had like beads for the ornaments but I didn't have beads that small. I did have some beads and I had sequins. And honestly, yesterday when I was putting these on, I had my desk covered in sequins and beads because I was like trying to figure out what would look best on him. And in the end, I just decided that I would use felt. There were also two other cupcake patterns that I didn't end up making. There was like a Santa and a gingerbread, I think. So I might make them at some point because I still have the patterns for them. But I didn't want to make the gingerbread because another one of the patterns I bought was an actual gingerbread pattern. So we'll buy cupcakes. Hello, gingerbread. So I saw this pattern again on Instagram like everything else and it was these adorable little gingerbread people and I was like that is just so cute I need to make those. Now these were hard to make let me tell you. So they were quite hard like their heads were fine but their bodies were like kind of flat and what you had to do was you had to do one leg and then the other leg. Wow. <laughs> no but it was confusing because you did one leg and then you did the other leg 
but then you join them together with crocheting rather than sewing them on and I'd never done that before and I found it really confusing and hard but like I did it so I'm really proud I feel like I've learned a new skill yay level up and then I had only really just mastered the whole leg thing on this gingerbread and then this gingerbread was like a million times harder because it had a skirt so you see this little skirt like flips up it's actually crocheted onto the gingerbread instead of sewing on I usually just sew everything on so the actual like crocheting stuff directly on always kind of trips me up, confuses me a bit, but I'm getting better because I did these two. I'm practicing, I'm learning new things. The blush on the gingerbread was meant to be crocheted and the buttons on the gingerbreads were meant to be crocheted, but I cannot crochet that small. I know what it is, my wrist just refuses to cooperate if I have to crochet that small. I just can't do it and it just looks ugly and it looks really messy and it's just a big disaster, so I used felt for the buttons and then I just sewed on the cheeks. Now I used a really light pink which looked pink. I don't know where the wool went. My room's a complete disaster. Like, it's embarrassing how messy my room is right now. I literally can't even walk around without stepping on something. Let's just not talk about my room. Why am I talking about this? Let's talk about cute gingerbreads. So yeah, the pink next to the eyes. It doesn't really look pink, but then I was like, oh no, that's that's good. That's chill. That's like matches the aesthetic because it kind of looks like icing. But now I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh, I don't know. Now the one thing that I just could not figure out how to do, I just couldn't do it at all was the bow. So the pattern had these adorable bows and that was something that I loved about the pattern. I couldn't do it. I just I just couldn't do it. Like I used a lot of different hook sizes, I used a lot of different yarns and I could just not make a cute bow. Just just couldn't do it. I uh, Maybe next year maybe I can practice like my small crocheting skills and next year I'll be able to level up again and have some bows on my gingerbreads. Just couldn't make her work this year though. The final pattern I bought was this beautiful tree who's been sitting here in the background this whole time. I hope you've been enjoying him just chilling here. So the pattern I bought was called a cuddle sized Christmas tree. I was like great I want a Christmas tree I can cuddle that sounds good but it was like it was kind of little like it was just like well I'll put a picture and I was like I can make a bigger Christmas tree than that I'm just gonna use chunky wool. Well the pattern used eight ply yarn and I think a four millimeter crochet hook but I was like I'm gonna use my chunky yarn I'm gonna use an eight millimeter crochet hook and this thing is gonna be a giant yeah well I wasn't expecting it to be this giant and once I realized like how big it was gonna be it was too late I had already done too much and there was no going back so this took like the whole month I worked on and off on this like the whole month I got so tired of just like seeing green and crocheting around and around and it just took forever so I had a lot of breaks doing all these other things but eventually I crocheted the tree part. Then there were a lot of other parts to crochet. So you did the tree, then you had to do the ruffles around the tree, then you had to do the bottom of the tree, then the trunk, then the star, and then the other things were just decorations that I stuck on literally yesterday. I was doing it while watching the Rapunzel show. I feel like I've mentioned this before on my channel. Finished the whole Rapunzel show, watched multiple Christmas movies, watched multiple Winnie the Pooh movies. I'm now watching the Winnie the Pooh series. I got through a lot of watching while doing this. Anyway, to decorate this once again I used big felt eyes like I did for the wreath and I mastered another cute smile and then I was gonna just use like normal pom-poms but then I found these sparkly Christmas colored pom-poms they were just sitting in our craft cupboard I was like well no one's using these here we go and I stuck them on using my handy dandy hot glue gun and now I have this beautiful friend to hug and love where am I meant to put this I shouldn't have even bought that Christmas tree I should have just used this one they're like the same size but he's beautiful. He's now, he's gonna be my Christmas tree for the rest of my life. I'm never gonna buy a Christmas tree again. He's just gonna be my Christmas tree. I'll just put all the presents around him. That is everyone I have crocheted so far. I'm probably gonna make a few more of these bells before Christmas, maybe. I have a lot to do before Christmas. I've been a bit busy spending all my time crocheting. <laughs> I need to actually sort out my Christmas presents and food and stuff and clean my room. Let me tell you that now. Thank you so much for watching and listening to me talk about all my crochet things. I hope you enjoyed it. If you need any love, Last minute gifts all the patterns are going to be in the description so you can make them yourself too if you do celebrate christmas i hope that you can have a lovely christmas but i know that this year is a really really hard year for a lot of people so sending you lots of love and lots of hugs but i will see you again soon and by soon it will be 2021 the next time i upload a crochet video i have a lot of ideas i have crochet videos i want to make in 2021 so i'm really excited for that and i will see you then okay bye